I highly recommend everyone come to this uh, food festival. Um, in my personal opinion, I think it's actually better than what we have over at Epcot. Uh, the food quality here is magnificent. Uh, the prices are absolutely fantastic. This is the place to be. All right, we're in the park now, and we're going to start by finding the uh, first booth for the uh, Seven Seas Food Festival here. So we're off. I'm going to film every single uh, booth that we come across and show you samples of the food. Seven Seas Food Festival runs between February 17th and April 15th. This is normally consistent each year with minor changes based on weekends. So if you're planning on checking out the Seven Seas Food Festival, we highly recommend that you uh, plan your trip out here to Orlando between these times. When you get to SeaWorld, you want to head off to the right after going through the front gate and you'll find the first Welcome and Information Center. This is where you can actually buy your passes for all the different food samplings and you'll see they have basic layouts and information about the Seven Seas Food Festival. So let's look at the prices over here. So you have a 15 item package which is uh, about $60 which is uh, the best value uh, for your sampling package. You have an eight item package and a five item package. And what it ends up being is a little punch card. So overall, this ends up saving you a lot of money if you plan on being here. If you're only gonna be here one day or maybe two days, uh, you know, the eight item package is pretty decent. But if you're gonna come here a couple of days, um, I recommend getting the 15 item package. Uh, a note for pass holders, you actually get a discount on uh, the, the different packages. Uh, for instance, if you're a pass holder, you get an eight item package um, at a discount, plus you get two extra, so it makes it a 10 item package. Booth one, we have the Flame Craft Bar here. We have the pretzels, nacho supremes, and so forth here. All right, we're at booth two. This is wine tasting. We're gonna come over here and uh, Look at what you get. You get four one ounce pours for $14.95. It includes a souvenir wine glass. And let's look at the glasses that you guys could get here. Wow, look at those. Those are fantastic. All right, so when it comes to the wine tasting, the normal punch cards aren't used for the wine tasting specifically. But um, if you're just getting a specific drink at some of the booths, that would actually work for an alcoholic beverage as well. But the wine tasting here itself, uh, for $14.95, it, it's, you're getting four uh, one ounce pours and you're getting to keep the glass and that's why it doesn't work with the, uh, the punch card. Booth three. We have drinks here, we have wine, and we have uh, specialty drinks and sodas and water. Number four, we have coffee, frozen specialty drinks. Number five, the Mexican market. Tequila tasting, number six. All right, so you get four uh, half ounce pours for $24.95. Yes. And you also get one of these two glasses, your choice, to go with it. This and you get a here. free glass. Look at that. Well, not a free glass, but part of the price. <laughs> so this is theoretically booth number seven, and it's rum tasting. So you get four half ounce pours for $24.95 here. So this is number eight, the Caribbean market. So I've actually tried the cinnamon slow roasted pork belly and that was amazing, fantastic. So here's some of the crab cakes here. Kavisha, we have the uh, pork over there being sliced up. This is uh, booth number nine. So nine here we have hot dogs. We're gonna, we're gonna take a look at the menu here. And uh, it looks like hot dog sliders at booth nine. So right across from the uh, number nine where the hot dogs are is the sandbar. And what we have is uh, specialty drinks and beer here. Yeah, she pays, she's got the last go to for all the sea world, all you want. All the Hello. 
Booth 11. So here's a, uh, a shot of the samplers that you could get here. That looks amazing. Another location for wine samplings here. So one key note about uh, locations like this where it's uh, single glasses of wine or drinks, these actually work with your punch card, so keep that in mind. It's only when you have a sampler or that are like around 14 or $15 where you're getting multiple drinks at a time. Those do not work with your punch card, but places like this do. So last weekend I was here and I tried the lamb and the sea scallops and I, I have to honestly say the uh, sea scallop itself was actually one of the best scallops I've had even at high-end restaurants the lamb was cooked perfectly the potatoes were a little cold unfortunately but that lamb was quite good look at those scallops so if you decide to get the scallops here, um, if you're really, really nice and polite, they might let you actually pick out the one that you want. And over there, they have the lamb. So that's uh, a shot of the mushroom risotto that actually comes underneath the scallop. And that was absolutely delicious, highly recommended. This is my, uh, my favorite stop for the festival. Yeah. Number 14, yeah. this is another wine tasting location. So like before, you're, you have to pay the $14.95 separately. It doesn't count towards your punch card, but you get another souvenir glass to come with it. Um, I have a Pinot Gris, Sauvignon Blanc, a Chardonnay, and a Prosecco. I also have four reds, if you want to see those. The Spanish red, that's the Hacienda de Aranzano. There's the Pinot Noir, and there's the Chianti and Cabernet Sauvignon. So we have California, Italian, and Spanish selections today. Booth 15, here you can get hard ciders, lots of hard ciders. You have elderberry, blueberry, and mango, along with other drinks as well. So you can get a souvenir glass from the Seven Seas right there. Booth 16. So we're at the North Atlantic Market here, and we have a New England lobster roll, sweet corn and cheddar, hush puppies, and a Bananas Foster's cheesecake cones. Trying the lobster roll last weekend, um, I, I felt it was okay. I would probably rate it about a three. I didn't feel I got a lot of lobster flavor out of this roll when I tried it last weekend, but the grilled venison sausage slider was wonderful. Really, really tasty. This is booth 17, the Pacific Coast Market. We have fried calamari, crispy fish tacos, deconstructed California roll, which sounds to me it's more like some avocado, some rice, and fake crab, I don't know. Well, that must be the deconstructed California roll. Fish taco, and the calamari. All right, number 18 is Germany Market. So number 19 is another drink station. Well, hello there, Captain Seven Seas here. <laughs> Thank you guys. Of course. And here's your beers. Look at that. Food 20, the Polynesian market. 